Hello everybody and welcome back to another glorious time on the Mindful SMP server. And in today's episode all we're going to do is have a little walk around and see what builds we have been doing in the course of this series so far. Right now it's raining, the weather's not brilliant, but hello, hello, but uh, yeah, there's a, <laughs> the rain is not brilliant, but there's something going on down here, there's something going on down here, but uh, let's go down here first of all, what we have down here is some trading bits and pieces with a bit of, this has changed a little bit, this is a bit different than before, we haven't seen this before, but this is the lovely enchanting room for the community and we have some bits and pieces here just to uh you know go and have a look at these boys sub to someone and uh yeah go and enjoy their stuff enjoy their videos etc i don't want these are here this is a tradesman this is a mindful heads i think you can get the heads off of these traders but we're not going to go around looking at them at the moment here was a jobs boards for us to do people that are going to do things in on on the server we've got one up there called adventure run we're not sure we're going to get down to that one just yet because there's loads of things to do fx and justin are doing the never hub we're going to see we have a peek at that as we go through and there's some bits and pieces with shops etc all the way around the area so let's go back up into this section this is the ground floor this is the local food, easy food for everyone to come and get to, and that would be fantastic. This is called Chicken Island. Oh, it was called Chicken Island because everything was filled with chickens and eggs, etc. From our lovely friend up there, Arachu, when he was chucking all his eggs over here, and there's still some wowzers still laying around. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the spawn house that we arrived when we first started on the server. This is where we ended up being. So let's grab into this boat here. Let's take a look. We've come this way. We've got other bits and pieces going around the place, which is cool. We're going to go around here. We've got a lighthouse and other things. But we're not going to go around looking at everybody else's stuff. What we're going to do is just come up here through this gate that Kenny done and past Kenny's house, past Justin's TIE Fighter, and we're gonna just keep going up here. That's our first spawn house that we built on the server. So let's go and have a look and see what's happened to that at the moment. See what's come along with that over the course of the series. Okay, before we do that, let's have a look. We built this little stable thing here. It's nothing special. It's just a little stable here to keep our little horsey in blob. He can stay there and enjoy himself over in this general area. Because we needed somewhere to stick him. Being inside the house up here at the time wasn't a good idea. We built this stairway, nothing too extravagant. It still could have work done to it, we don't know yet. And the beautiful weather's coming out, although it's going down for night time. But we'll grab a quick sleep in a session for that. This is the game of tag. It's still going, haven't really read the instructions for that one yet, but uh, we will get down to reading that at some point. But, uh, you know, tags sort of split off a little bit. Uh, everyone's doing their own bits and pieces, which is absolutely fantastic. But, uh, yeah, we'll get around to doing some possible tag in a future episode. We have to be all recording at the same time together. It's a bit difficult because little old me is in the UK and the majority of the server is either in the US of A or Australia or New Zealand, those places, which are a bit of a different 12 hour time zones in some in some uh, areas. So yeah, little old me just has a little cross section of things that we can't always get to record with people but yeah this is the little house that we built the very first spawn house it's just out of the side of the spawn chunks so it's always not running so there's nothing we can build on here that can keep 100 percent going all the time but let's quickly get down and have a quick as you can see we put the old uh, wooden fences as windows a couple of boats in here for our chickens and we also built what we had up here was a little storage area, although the storage area up here really isn't 
being used as much. It's just been tidied up, taken away and put down into the storage room. So this place is really beautiful. That's the park area. That is, if you want to go and see how that's done, go and see Kenny's stuff. That is fantastic over there. There's a beautiful park area. So we went down here and build our auto smelting area so we can build and smelt everything we need to smelt. Did I see some fishes there? Let's have that. So yeah, that was pretty much our smelting area. We only originally had the one here and then we extended it and made two more just there. As you come down here, we have the little storage room over in Spawn Town just to uh, keep some of our items that we need now and again to come back for. It's fantastic. I love the way how this is turned out and looking. We've changed our texture pack back to the standard texture pack because we had some issues and glitches going on with the Python pack I was using. So we're back on the original textures now. And it does look smarter, crisper and clearer and sharper with our lovely faithful pack. So let's come down here and let's go through here. We also built this little pathway, this little archway here. Just to give it a little bit of sense of difference instead of uh, the bog standard flat ground and nothing to look at we built a bridge and this little area here just to make it more friendly put all the trees in made this path and then we come over here to this one this was a bit different we could have done something different with this but we thought we made it a checkerboardy type here excuse me i need to cough <coughs> sorry about that and uh, yeah, and then we built this down here. Uh, one of my longest, biggest, largest things I've done on the server. And it is our map room underwater in a dome. Let's go up here and have a look at the map. As you can see, excuse me, as you can see, we have RIP COD. No idea. We have the Mindful SMP. We have the shopping district. I don't think all of this has been updated for a while. Some of the shops are there, have been built, but hasn't been updated. But we've got little Kenny's bone shop there, which looks absolutely amazing. Go and see that too. That's fantastic. All of these builds have some fantastic build about them. You've got Justin's underwater one, which is cool. We've got some bridges going on, some other bits and pieces. Some of the guys on here are doing some amazing build work. I don't have anything else going on other than that at the moment. We don't know what's going on here. I don't know if that's been updated yet. The zombie farm, this little area down here. We'll probably go over there at some point. Have a look at that. And there's just so much going on in this area, which looks absolutely cool. So yeah, here we are. We're here in, here in the lovely underwater map room and it does look absolutely good i love this area it's brilliant <laughs> it makes everything really nice and compact everyone can come here oh my god ah <sighs> Everyone can come here, have a look at the uh, the map and just pretty much see how the builds and the areas are going. Down here we have little walls and sections you can put your own map on the wall. Unfortunately the build turned into a situation where these maps didn't have that ability to have the central pillar. Because we've got doorways going in, which is a bit of a shame because it butts up to the edge, but it's... You know, it's there, it's functional, it's available to use. Even these ones up here are available to use too for those that require a base and a map for their base. We've got a little map over in our base, over in yeah, our main base area. This auto updates, which is cool. We've got exactly the same copy of the map here as we do over there. So this should update every time we update one of them which is good and we've got all these others here that people haven't used yet which is a bit sh a bit of a shame but never mind I'm pretty sure once they get this Christmassy festive 
holiday season out of the way and things return back to normal people will be able to get back on here and start updating their map walls etc and here we've got a little something just to say mm, it's beautiful it's nice it's somewhere to come out of the way and just you know it's different it's different we've got little aquariums going on majority of these little fishes in here are named so they've all got their little names on them of the mindful members which is cool so that's pretty much the big build that we've done here for spawn area this is what kenny done to join on this area up into the park area so if we go back this way because we've got to go oh no 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 we've got a little thing down there it's not, not really worth watching that little area it's just a little temporary thing a little tunnel that leads out to a little boat in place but that boat in place is just it probably either needs some more work done to it or something it's not the uh, greatest thing to look at you can go over there my son so yeah that's pretty much our builds over here in spawn at the moment we've got the spawner over there so what we'll probably do is go and have a run and have a look at that so what i'll do is i'll make a cut here and we'll see you guys over in the zombie spawn area so here we are ladies and gentlemen we're over in the swamp area here where we found a little spawner after doing some caving which was fantastic so what we did above ground here is just pretty much put a little spin on it this could be enlarged and i'm still thinking about enlarging this area it's uh, mostly ruins and bits and pieces like that so i'll probably enhance and expand the ruins and i might even put a portal here so you can have a quicker entrance to here to run across miles of city land that isn't now or i might even do a tunnel as well i've been toying with the idea of opening this up to a tunnel all the way through the mountain to spawn area but that is something you guys down below can uh say yes or no to so is it going to be expand this and put a portal or make a tunnel or do all of them i'm quite happy to do all of them so please let me know down in the comment section what you think I should do expand no portal no tunnel expand with a portal don't expand at all or expand everything do the whole shebang everything you need to know but yeah we dug down and we made a staircase all the way down into the lowest point where the spawner is we come around here we've got a bit of water in there and it's just overgrown horrible dank wet area to be so that's why it's looking all viney and green and just horrible and damp we've got some soft lighting in here and some slabs and nothing spawns and it comes down to the end here into something a little bit different i like using the granite i think the granite is a nice pinkish tool to use for building but we built this up we put lava in to bring up some lighting and you'll see that the lava is used in quite a lot of the builds that i do this season on the server come down here some someone's come in and added some bits in these furnaces pretty much i was gonna put some lighting in here on the floor and up there but you know the furnaces have done what it needs to do i'll probably leave that as it is we are pretty much full i don't know why these ain't doubled up someone's been in here and using it which is cool which is fantastic because it is a rather speedy speedy zombie spawner to get your levels up reasonably quick but uh yeah we've got one over in our spawn not spawn over in our uh, base area it's not as as effective as this one it does a job but it's pretty slower than what this one does this one really produces the zombies in a reasonable rate we need to get some mending books on our sword because that is pretty much always needing a repair with a diamond here and there but we can get these all slaughtered get some levels coming up and, uh, yeah chicken lizards these little boys here call them chicken lizards because they sit on top of the chicken they look like a little lizard near this right near chicken we are uh, pretty much had those come in but they get stuck in here sometimes from the water and the chicken comes in this section because it can and suffocates the poor little zombie boy on top or the chicken dies 
and the zombie escapes out here so sometimes you have to put a little block on there to protect yourself but apart from that we have so much fun around here we've got to get in there we've got use for this lever so we have to come back and get all that lever get a nice shulker box and get that lever but we're not gonna we're gonna leave those alone leave them to live in nice harmony together let's eat a bit of food let's come around here i think we need to go to this one yeah there we go we're going to take that off and take that one out too and we're going to come into here this is our little area that leads all the way from the little cave-in session we've done that comes all the way down this is the uh, stairway behind now so we pretty much open this up a little bit and spruce that tunnel all the way up down there we've got a nice little chicken session going on in there <clears throat> so we always got some eggs come back and get some eggs those are stuff in these chests that we need to come back for at some point but for now we're just going to leave them as it is we're going to need you down there for the time being let's grab you let's put you up there let's grab you put you onto there and the last two in there so let's quickly get back out of here let's shoot back over to spawn town and we will take a little trip into the never so i'll catch you guys in the never so here we are ladies and gentlemen we just find ourselves into the never here and as you can see the never can the never hub is turning out to be something of some amazing build going on it's still in work in progress we've got these pillars going on this isn't anything to do with me and the flooring it's scary to look at the flooring because you can see the depths down there that looks into evil lava instant death if you're exploded by one of those lovely gases that could potentially spawn in here we have seen some spawn in here but it's very rare but it does happen so we have to be a bit more careful so over in this direction pretty much ethics and justin are doing that so if you want to see what they're doing properly and quickly shoot over to their channels and hopefully they've got something going up already to show you that build process i do believe they're still building and recording that so they might not have gone up yet but hey it's worth a try because they are some great builders too okay let's pop up here this is what we did we built all this little tunnel here we need to extend it this way but uh it's a little build that helps us come into our base area just incorporate this is where we are this itself might turn into something else that transitions into people's base area a little tunnel i've got an idea for that I'm not sure if anyone else has got any ideas for that so any of the mindful members if you're watching this please let me know if you've got your plans for the tunnel connecting the main never hub we may have to do something of incorporating that into the builds here. So, like I say, it's got to extend this part here. And the only problem that we do have at the moment is these little things. Lady is a liberal. No idea who put those there, but there's two there sitting there. But we do need to extend, so we're going to have to move those. Maybe rewrite it and move it somewhere else. But for now we're going to leave it at that we've got to go there are three sections of this to marry these up across in that direction so that's something to do so then we came up here and started laying the floor well firstly we dug all the way through over to where we needed to be we came to an open plain area which i'll take you to in a second but we had this here we decided to build something here to help focus our journey through here a bit of destruction over time here some lava pouring in a little bit different and then we have this great big long tunnel that we built let's take that behind a great big long tunnel with the lava like i said some of the builds will incorporate lava over here so yeah so i like it it gives off that light as well saves having to uh try and functional some light sources in when it's its own natural light source is coming through and a great big gate at the end here this is a fantastic project. I enjoyed the process of building this and uh, I think it's turned out absolutely amazing. So you've got this door here that you come out, put the gate on. This is the gate, gated area into 
this area here. We put some destruction parts in here to make it look like that lava has incorporated and exploded out the floor over time. This is a sort of ancient <coughs> wowzers. <coughs> This is old and ancient kind of stuff where it's been around for a long, long time. So the lava has crept in a little. But uh, let's take you down into the tunnel, a little smaller tunnel than the big one down there, into this area. This isn't complete yet. There's still things that we need to do in here. We need to put things in it because it's too empty, too big, too wide. So we need to make sure that it fills some things up in here to make it more enjoyable to look at because you know <laughs> it's nothing there to look at it's all just a big circle we've got the light sources coming in with the lava again and uh, as you come out here we've got some more lava escaping areas the build itself if we can get down here quickly to have a quick look is a long tunnel with a that building there the roof goes up to another part of the roof up top there so let's go in and up the little central stairway this is what i mean this is the roof going up and that's the next floor up let's go up and have a look so here we come we built this up here so you can look out the windows you can't get shot from anything so they can't see you there's doorways in each exit point down below here as you can see in the general areas there's one in each corridor exit here the plan was to put another tunnel off of this maybe a collapsed tunnel there and over here maybe something leading over to that branched off bit that's floating in the air there but i'm not sure at the moment i was thinking of doing that but we'll probably leave it for now it's a bit uh it needs some more thought on it so this is the never portal so let's go through and then we came into this area well this particular area you see here was if you go and have a look at the few of the very first couple of episodes of the season you will see that this was just a hole in the ground with a little bit of I don't even, there wasn't even any water sources really down here. It's just a little area that really didn't do much at all. So let's go up here quickly and have a peek. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. Let's have a look over here. Pretty much it's just the water. And what we did, we carved all of that out, blocked off some bits and pieces down below, and dug out some bits around the back there to make it more flatter. Filled up the water source down below, down there, and put a portal on a little plinth. Now that plinth stayed there for a little while. We'll come back to this in a minute. A little plinth stayed there for a little while, and then we decided to build a housing for it. The housing took two phases. We had the simple phase, which was just the little tiny wall going around it and a roof and it was pretty simple didn't like it it was simple it needed something done to it so in the end we put a lot of detail into this just to make it look a little bit more sturdy and chunky sitting in there so we put the stairs was pretty much there to start off with but we put all these pillars in put the roof around going around and ended up making this look a little bit more substantial build than what it was and i'm pretty happy with the outcome of this i really am if you remember we had a great big hole in the ground leading down to our nice mine shaft down below and as you saw in one of the earlier episodes we found a spawner another zombie spawner which we have converted into an XP farm. It's not as, as efficient as the one you see just a minute ago in the ruined area. So what do we do down here? Pretty much all of this <coughs> and all of this was part of the mountain. We dug the whole lot out. Everything here, around here and up 
was dug out this was all dug out this was a solid build a uh, solid mountain all the way over to this side of the wall leading to around about here as you can see it's still parts of it is there all of this was solid so we dug the whole lot out because you know it changed the idea expanded once we was here to see what we could do we had an idea and expanded pretty quickly once we got our idea set in place so we covered up the hole down here down to the spawner let's go down here first because there's not much to see down here to say the least at the moment and then we'll come back up this is the spawner we've done this first we built all this first obviously we built the mining shaft down to the bottom first but uh we've done this pretty much was one of the main builds that we've done in the area and uh, we spruced it all up put some nice red brick and etc down here behind this wall here is the spawner area and here is where they come down and land there's a water stream that goes through which shoots up the mobs upwards brings them along and drops them down here there is an issue with it they do get blocked and that down here a little bit which is a shame but uh, i'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter and there's probably a way to fix that I've attempted it a few times, but to be honest, I might just leave it as it is. It's not required as such. But once we get over to the other bit and we start doing some expansion, if you guys think that's a good idea on the ruined area, we'll put something in there that we can get over there quicker and start using that as more of a XP grind concerning the zombies. So let's go down here. Let's go all the way down. This is going to be finished and we'll talk about up the top there in a minute. But we come down here with big great done a big square as you remember in a few episodes we had this great big open space and i thought i didn't like that let's expand it let's make that a little bit more nice let's make that more built friendly so we end up building this down here we put the ceiling in there's a spider somewhere i can hear a spider and uh yeah, I love how this has turned out. It makes it more appealing to come in. The E doesn't stand for East. The E stands for Exit. Now, I am planning. I think I've got one going on down in this general direction. So, we run down here quickly. We've started digging out an area about 100 blocks this way. So, about every 100 blocks, we get another room. So, I started clearing this room. It's exactly the same size room as that one down there but we just need to start building that up so it looks really nice and each little section is going to be like a storage area it's not going to be just this open room like this it's going to be a storage area i don't know where or how i'm going to incorporate that just yet but we will see and i'm thinking of putting arrows maybe in the center here like an arrow pointing in so that way is the exit, that way is the exit, and each location will be arrow here, then an arrow that way. Whichever way you need to go to get to the exit, all the arrows will point in the right direction. And then we can have some form of storage unit going in here as you come off. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but we'll find some way of doing it. I need to clear those chests up to make sure that's all done and ready, so it's just all nice and fresh and clean so up here we started putting these in and i like the design actually i like how it's coming through i like how it's looked and it's looking so i'm going to keep that design all the way down and uh yeah i, li I like how it's turning out it's looking nice fresh or oh, loads of light down here nothing can spawn nothing can spawn anyway even though we don't have the light there nothing can spawn it's all going to be slabbed etc and that is brilliant so then we put the roof on and we put these guys on we went chopping heads off of because we got the head drop on the server now so we've got some nice salmon heads which fits quite well with the red nice armor that these guys are wearing these are the soldiers of the place or just statues whichever way you want to use it they're just sitting there nice and handy dandy so as you know we dug all that out as i explained we had this up here which is all natural still we kept as much as a natural bit we could here this itself was like a archway a normal archway that was naturally there so we've decided to keep that 
and that little way went through that way up there so we just dug it out more and made it more flowing <laughs> but we decided to keep the archway because the archway was it gave me the idea of coming up through an archway and this was all open over here too so we filled that in and then we built and started chopping out bits and pieces here we had like a sign over here saying this way is going to be the enchanting room and storage area we then added another one in for the smeltery but what we did before we built those was come up here and built the enchanting room it's a nice little room with some pictures on the walls some bookshelves etc we had a different pictures at some point due to the other pack that we was using and i was getting a bit frustrated because we couldn't get the original pictures but i've referred it back to the normal normal uh, pack here normal default pack with the faithful pack on top of that to make it nice and hd looking that has given us all the pictures and standard pictures back which absolutely look fantastic now because the other ones are a bit too grainy didn't fit in so we've done up here this is enchanting area it's not the best enchanting area i will admit it is quite boring up here to be honest but it's functional it works it gives you the 30 points that you need i've got nothing on here to enchant but it does do the job that you want it to do we put some flames in here with some cauldrons so it's cooking up so it looks like it's going up the chimneys there is no chimneys but we've got the eye there and the yin yang eye over here and still keeping in with the crosses sort of stage that we've done with all the never project that we did so as we come down here we come through i love how this looks because as you come through here it looks like it sticks out a little with the light in there it sticks out it gives you the illusion of depth which is fantastic i love how that looks over in this area we put little water pockets with some drippy water we decided to put some water sources up top there as you can see it comes down and it looks like it's filling up little holes there that looks pretty good i love the idea of water logging waterlogged blocks so we built here another smelter room over here this works pretty well i love how this works let's go in here we need that fish <clears throat> and i like how this has turned out too over here we had a fantastic time of digging all this out and built a little storage area and the one thing i do like about the builds over in this section at the moment is the jungle wood the jungle wood and the stone and that absolutely complement each other so well and i love the color tone it's quite pleasant to look at and i have enjoyed myself building with this color tone and it's something that i might do in the future is just use a jungle wooden stone and build palette because it does work fantastically well together so let's go this way let's go <coughs> let's go this way up here oh yeah this is going to be the aquarium i haven't got there yet so there's nothing to look at just a wall come up here we've got stairs we're going to put a roof not a roof a bridge over into that area so you can look out there the we're going to have the towers down there coming up to here's point and this point and then we've got a like a, a viewing platform there which you can look out over across the area there and a stairway in the tower so you can go all the way down to there so you've got pretty much you can gain access from every location in this build so let's pop over here jump down so there's nothing else to look at up in that general direction so oh yeah so you come out here up here and this is what i want to do here it's going to be the the aquarium is going to go in there and i want to build a little area into here where we can live have our own little hidey hole something to sleep in our own little rest area furnace crafting bench bed nice homely fire and then incorporate the aquarium a little bit in there too as you come up here this is what you see in the last episode we built our neville wart farm 
is not a hunky dory amazingly efficient but it does the job and you need to stay in the area for it to do its job so uh yeah i'm loving how that's come along we use a bit of carpet everywhere helps with spawning and it helps cover up all the horrible looks underneath and hidden lighting of course this is just coming out of the water below and we've got ourselves our field or wheat field here and our carrots and potatoes we still need to get a a couple of more bits and pieces here but once they've grown we replant that'd be great and fantastic too we found this place by traveling across the ocean and the land and everything from in general that direction spawns over in that direction general direction somewhere and it brings you along all the way over here and we found this and saw this and this i love this area down here it's got so much scope to do something with this and uh, i love how it is the water source may have to go so it looks a bit bit stupid with the tree whether or not it's the tree that goes or the water source I'm not sure yet but we're try and incorporate the water source some things actually think about it i've got a nice idea now for that that's pretty good so yeah we need to sort out this stairway it needs to be widened because everything's free wide here so we're going to make this free wide take it down and we'll probably take it down that way into like a garden area with a water source coming down here make that into a nice little little pond or something down there some seating and that around there some flowers we'll probably do that over there and then we've got the walkway off into the sand and the sea of monsters that is in deserts that we get in Minecraft here. This was pretty much open to the elements for a long while when building this. I finally got this built over a few episodes ago or an episode ago, which I absolutely fantastically loved getting this all completed. And it looks absolutely fantastic and amazing. I love the way how high the ceilings are and it just looks a bit quirky there down there but it's what it is it looks good I love how it the bills turned out and the main entrance here has turned out down here all hidden light in the sector down through the flooring so there's no torches anywhere we also cut out that out there to make a nice beautiful river coming in and we can go over there and hunt some bits and pieces. There is going to be, I think I had the idea of putting a windmill on there. So we'll probably still do something with that. I've got a little bridge over there, which I don't really like that much. But it's it gets you over there. Over there is going to be the hall of subs, etc. For you guys to come along. So we really do need to crack on to that. Because we've been in this series for a while now. We've got nowhere to stick you, ladies and gentlemen, down to immortalize you on the episode. And the season and the series. So that's pretty much what's going on out there. We've got a lot of work out there to do, terraforming, etc. But uh, if you come back up here, we built this stairway, filled in the holes in the wall, etc. And managed to bring this up pretty well into something that's... I like it. It looks really good. How it does what it does. Here we had an open area, which we needed to carve out, fix. And we managed to fix that by bringing the stairway instead of bringing the stairway down in the diagonal section which brought it up to around about here we managed to build all of this wall up and make it into a little slightly new entrance here which has turned out absolutely brilliant to be honest with you okay you can see in there but that's nothing to worry about that gives you something your eye to detract to as you're coming down here, I'm not sure if I've finished with this bit yet. It needs something to sort that out. I might put a brick wall up to this point, or even a brick wall there with the with something to do something here. We can't do much because we've got the underground ceiling to be covered up. <clears throat> so this comes up under here. We've got some bits there to cover up the grass. But there's nothing here we can do really with this bit. We had this bit over here that we dug out and joined up down here which pretty much brings you to this lookout point which i was talking about earlier with the towers coming up and you can come out into this section and look through the middle here over what's going to be built all around here so this is a different view of the area it's turned out to be amazing the way this has turned out I've got to put some stairs here because jumping is pretty much redundant these days you need stairs everywhere 
Up here we built this with another archway just like this one. On top we put some light sources with some lovely trap doors. This is going to be built up with some other bits and pieces. So it gives you a more fundamental lookout post up here so you can look out and have a look up here too. And then we built this lovely long staircase up here. This was a joy to build to. I love the way this has come through. Like I say, the jungle wood and the stone, the grey of the stone, absolutely fit beautiful together. I absolutely love how this has turned out. And when we come up here, this is, again, we've had to build and chop and build and chop and landscape so much up here in some respects to get it to where we are at the moment. Need to make sure we've got nothing going along to kill us. These are going to be some towers, some towers, maybe some, I thought I heard something fall, maybe some bigger towers. And uh, we're going to have like a big open dome in the middle. That's the idea with that one. But there's nothing else over here at the moment. Just the, the foundation plan for the time being. So that is pretty much, ladies and gentlemen, of what we have done so far with the series and how far we got with our builds. It's really coming along. We've still got loads of pathways and bits and pieces to do. And uh, at the moment, I love the way it's turned out and the way it's going. So pretty much stick with it. Keep popping back. Please subscribe to the channel so you're notified exactly when things are going and going. Please drop a like if you like how this video has come along and this the base area has come along and what I've done so far. Please also check out everybody else on the Mindful server. Go and check out their channels, leave them a like, even comment on their videos and say that I sent you over to say hello. That would be great if you could do that too. But for now, I'm actually going to go and have a rest for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, decide on what I'm going to do and I will be back in the next video to show you what we're doing and what plans we've got going and maybe even something that I've built already. So until then, take care, see you soon, and as always, bye for now.